So a question that um, was asked was, are there any pivotal passages in Revelation that will impact my interpretation of it? And I would say there are more, but there are two that come to mind. The one would be Revelation 4 verse 1, and the other one is Revelation um, 6 verse 1 and 2. So let me just go on to Revelation 4 verse 1. And uh, let me just let us read it. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. So, some may say, well, everything in the book of Revelation is hereafter. It's, in other words, it's after when John got the revelation, which was between 90 to 100 AD. So it was after this time period. And the answer is, it is true that the objective of revelation is to talk about what is about to come, 100%. However, there are elements in the book of Revelation that talks about the past. Uh, two things come to mind was, one, in Revelation 12, verse, verse uh, 1 to 5, um, it talks about the world before um, Christ came and then it talks about Christ coming and then it talks about and like in verse 5 it says and she brought forth it a male or man child um, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne this is referring to Christ okay and so if John is 90 to 100 AD this was before um, that time period so that you can see it's not just everything hereafter there, there's this element which is before another another one I could bring up would be in Revelation um, 13 and Revelation 17 which talks about the beast and um, explains the heads and and the heads um, and if you understand the heads and referring to Daniel it talks about um, the kingdoms that rule God's people throughout the centuries and so he's explaining to jo to to john that the one is current which now is and then the one is about to come or referring to the roman empire so that's another example but there are other examples the point is the objective of a re revelation is about the future however it also refers to the past so that we can understand the journey okay so remember that the second one is in um, Revelation 6, like I said. And this is uh, the start. Uh, think of it like this. The, the timeline is based on the seals. Well, it's the seals, and the seventh seal releases the seventh, uh, seven trumpets, and the seventh trumpet releases the, um, the seven bowls. And so if you get the timing of the, the seal wrong, the first one, and obviously all your timing is going to be out. So you want to make sure that the, your starting point is correct. And so you need to understand, for example, uh, the seals were opened, the first one, and in verse 2 it says, and, and I saw John talking, and I behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. When is this? Is it going to be a future time? Is it a, a previous time? Is it a current time? You need to understand when that is because that's going to imp have an impact on your sequence, on all the seals, the, the trumpets, and all the bowls. Um, and by the way, we're going to get to all these questions about the white horse and all this in the future, but I wanted to just to answer some of those things. So maybe you can start doing your homework now and looking at um, who the person on the white horse is.